Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm Living Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. When the weather changes, whether from hot to cold or cold to hot, my body has to adjust. It's like all the internal systems of my body have to be reprogrammed or reconfigured to accommodate the difference in temperature or precipitation. It's an uncomfortable process and it requires a lot of extra rest. And if I'm honest, that could be a little frustrating because there's always something else that I'd rather be doing than just resting. But I've learned that my body knows what it needs better than I do. God has uniquely designed my body to function without my input. So when my body tells me that it needs rest, I listen to it. Because when I don't, it just means my body has to work harder, which means I'm going to be even more tired, which means I'm going to have to rest for even longer. One of the things that chronic illness has taught me is flexibility. I've learned that flexibility simply means prioritizing what's most important. For example, if I want to accomplish a task, but have difficulty doing the physical activity the way I once did, I have to be okay with just adjusting a little bit, rolling with the punches and going with the flow, doing that task differently to the end that I will actually get the task accomplished. We have to let go sometimes of the way we used to do things or trying to accomplish something the way someone else does it and just be okay with the fact that we got the task done. Flexibility is also helpful when being invited to an event or a gathering. When you're living with chronic illness, every day is different, and you may not know from one day to the next how your body is going to feel. If your priority is that you don't want that person's feelings hurt, then perhaps the best thing to do is to communicate with them that your body goes through changes and that you may or may not be available that day. Letting them know up front helps to keep them from being disappointed when at the last minute you would have to back out. It also keeps you from being under unnecessary pressure to show up someplace when your body is saying something different. Flexibility is also important spiritually because we often pray for things and God answers us, but when he doesn't answer in the way that we anticipated, it can be challenging to us emotionally, but it helps to be able to remind ourselves that God works all things together for our good that all what's good and perfect comes down from the Father of lights. So we have to understand that God is always going to do what's in our best interest. So if what we prayed for didn't get answered the way that we hoped, it helps to remember that God is always on our side and he's always going to do what's best for us. That way we can let go of any kind of negative emotion that does not serve us well. I know personally, anger for me causes my body to tense up. I notice that my heart rate increases and that my breathing changes. And that's very taxing on my body, especially for an emotion that is not going to serve me or cause me to make great decisions. In fact, a lot of psychologists even say that emotions only live in our brain for 90 seconds unless we choose to feed them. And the way that we feed our emotions is with our thoughts. Have you ever had something happen that someone did or said that was frustrating to you and you spent the next several hours telling everybody who would listen, I can't believe she did that or I can't believe he said that. The incident has been over for hours. And if we're honest with ourselves, it really wasn't that consequential in our lives. But because we keep rehearsing and rehashing it, it stays alive in our brains and in our bodies for much longer than it has to. We get to choose. We get to decide to let go. We get to decide to go with the flow. Paul wrote these words, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Listen, whether you have a lot of energy or whether you need to rest, whether you are extremely happy or extremely frustrated, whether you are accomplishing all the tasks or whether you're not being productive at all, you can get through the moment. 
you can be flexible and prioritize what's most important at that time. It seems like we'll never get all the things done sometimes, right? It seems like we'll never manage all the emotions or all the physical changes. But I just want to encourage you that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. It may look different from one day to the next. You may have to adjust and adapt. Might have to do something a little bit unlike everybody else. But you can do it. Be flexible. And allow God to lead you by his spirit in and out of those moments and those circumstances that challenge you. And you will find that you have accomplished all the tasks and that you have done all the things that are most important to you because you have been able to adjust and adapt. I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm Living Chronic Faith, and I am so excited to invite you to our third annual Hope Unlimited Virtual Conference. It's gonna be held Saturday, December 3rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And our theme this year is what's in your hand. Sometimes a diagnosis can derail our plans and dreams for the future. And that can change the way that we see ourselves and understand our purpose. But I believe that God has purpose for each and every one of us. And I'm looking forward to talking about that at the conference. So if you or someone you care about has been diagnosed with a chronic illness, or if you've ever found yourself asking, what do I do next? Or where do I go from here? Or if you just want to find yourself in alignment with God's will and pursuing his calling for your life, then this event is for you. Our amazing speakers will talk about discovering and walking out God's purpose for your life despite physical challenges and changes. You'll hear from media personality, content creator, and founder of the I'm Me Foundation, Jillian J.J. Simmons. Christian life coach, care counselor, blogger, and founder of a ministry called Purpose in the Pain, Chantel Janice, and Connections Pastor at the Caring Place Church, Pastor Elizabeth Rigney. Join us from the comfort of your own home for a day of worship, inspiration, and empowerment. A few giveaways and surprises, and you can even get all your holiday shopping done at our virtual vendors hall. Plus, Every attendee will receive a free digital gift from me. Registration is open right now. Yes, right now at www.livingchronicfaith.com. So head on over there and register for free today. And if you know someone who could use some inspiration and encouragement, why not invite them to register as well at www.livingchronicfaith.com. We hope to see you there at our third annual Hope Unlimited virtual conference hosted by Living Chronic Faith, Saturday, December 3rd, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you click on the link in the description box below to register for free today. We'll see you soon.